went down to Campos de los Cazadores or CDLC for our monthly work weekend uh, this past weekend. We spent some time filling feeders and replacing some door stops and just the normal chores that we do. So we spent most of the weekend just kind of riding around on Casey's Ranger looking for uh, opportunities to take pictures and some video and uh, fighting mosquitoes. And mosquitoes were horrible. Got back home and <clears throat> was watching a baseball game and um, got a picture of a big boar that was hanging out at my feeder. So I stalked down, got within range of him, but had, was having a hard time seeing him. And uh, went ahead and drew my bow. And as soon as I uh, turned on the sniper hog light, I don't know if his shadow or something kind of spooked him, but he ran off. So I went back to the house and about 10 or 15 minutes later I got more pictures of sow and some sounder of hogs. And I stalked back down and kind of came around down a trail, got all set up on the trail and realized that I never put my SD card back in my camera. So I left everything set where it was left, ran back up to the house, came back down, and managed to stalk back in, got set up, and I was actually just behind this fallen tree right here, kind of in that area. It was about 11 o'clock, 11.15 last night. Managed to get focused, drawn, lit up the area, but I was having a hard time making out the bigger hogs. Uh, against the background of the brush, there's not a lot of whole, a whole lot of contrast, and that red light made it kind of hard to see. I don't know if I hit something. I don't think I hit anything. I think I just hit it. I think I just overshot and hit too high and missed the hog. So I missed my best opportunity so far. I need to practice shooting with that light. It's a little bit different. Shooting with a red light. <clears throat> Not being able to see. It's probably about 15, 15 yards over here. Maybe, maybe a little bit more. So um, should be a pretty easy shot. Not finding the arrow in first pass, <clears throat> but I'm gonna keep looking around. Um, see if I can find it. If not, it'll probably turn up here sometime. One thing that I was impressed with is it's uh, like I say, it was about 11:30 at night, and it's we're probably in a three-quarter moon phase, about a week away from the full moon. So, but that's the only light that I had, and um, the Sony i7s2 is rated at 409,000 ISO, which of course is not usable for much. Uh, but the one thing that it does allow me to do is I can set that, at, uh, turn it on to 409,000 ISO. Um, and even in that small amount of moonlight, um, I can visually see the hogs or whatever it is that I'm looking at to be able to focus frame. Um, and then I bumped it back down to 51,200 ISO, which is very usable. And I probably could, with the sniper hog light, I'm finding I probably could bump it down even more because it was probably a little bit overlit. Um, certainly the stuff in the foreground. So still a few more tweaks to do with it, but I'm, I'm really impressed with it and, uh, and look forward to continuing to use it. Well, thanks for continuing to watch and subscribe and comment on my videos. I heard Ben Brown, a uh, pretty prominent vlogger, uh, in fact, I was watching it today, and he said, keep making bad videos until you're good, and then keep making good videos until you're great. So I'm definitely on the bad end of things right now, but I intend to continue to create new videos and upload, and uh, 
and try to move towards the good and eventually towards above average anyway. Come join us again over at TexasBowHunter.com. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, all the other cool social media sites that everybody seems to be a part of these days. Look forward to your uh, feedback.